What's up everyone and welcome to day 22 of the COVID Cup. I don't know about you, but it's day 22 and I have gotten so desperate in trying to find things to say during these highlights that I have resorted to Taylor Swift references. Regardless, we're excited to be moving into our fourth week of this competition. We thank you guys for being with us all throughout it as you see all these games that we have done so far. Those of you that have been here the entire series would know that Brady was down by as many as four games at one point, but he's been clawing it back, winning five of the last seven, including yesterday's Cup Pong Trick Shot Challenge. Adding to the list of obscure sports today with Bocce, Brian, how you feeling about it? Uh, a little bit cold, a little bit windy. This one's gonna be kind of up to the elements, but it should be a good time. A homemade version of bocce today as Brian throws the golf ball out there. That's the mark that they'll be aiming at. Brady will be throwing lightweight Little League baseballs while Brian will be playing with beat up tennis balls. That was Brian's preference, so we'll see if that decision will pay off for him or not. They'll each have four tosses per round, and the winner will be the player that has the most points after five rounds. As Brady gets one pretty close there, they're both inching their way forward here. As Brian gets one pretty close, it might be about the same distance as that other one. We'll have to get the official review on that. But we won't have to worry about them being the closest because Brady just put one within a foot of the golf ball. Brian cannot make an improvement with his third throw and now Brady flying this one and it looks pretty good and it's gonna settle its way right up next to the golf ball that's the closest one yet and he's got three in really good position there as Brian doesn't get any closer a dominating first round for Brady two You'll see Brady had the two closest throws there, so he'll take two points from the first round as he goes pretty short with this one, and of course it ends up just out of the frame of the camera. Pretty poor camera work from our competitor slash commentator slash cameraman slash editor, but we'll let it slide this time, so just pretend you can see the golf ball a little bit below the bottom of your screen. I can't confirm they are not even close so far. The ball is way further than they're throwing it. Maybe they're expecting a little bit more roll than they're getting as Brian puts one up a little bit short. Brady does the same exact thing. I mean, come on, guys. The target's like three feet further than you're throwing it, but Brian finally gets the hang of it here. He gets it pretty close, a little bit below the screen, but you know that that one's close. And Brady does the same, so we can't see it, but we'll let them decide for us. That is... <laughs> I think you, I'm are, you are, you are. So we have no idea what happened, but Brian says that Brady was closest. So Brady has three points now as he throws this one a little bit further and makes sure the camera is at the right angle. There we go, he's learning. I mean, if we're really gonna get nitpicky, there is a little bit of a weird tint on the screen because of the position of the sun. But if we're gonna make an excuse for Brady, it is pretty tricky to change the path of the sun. Anyways, I've been sidetracked for long enough, so let's focus here as Brian gets a nice toss, but it doesn't slow down for him in time. Brady lobbing it in and it goes a bit long as well. So neither of them particularly close now. The door is certainly open as they're getting into their final tosses here. Brady rolls that one within a couple feet. Brian going bowling style, just trying to roll it in there in a couple hops, but it goes a bit to our right. Brady with the last toss of the round and it goes right up next to it. Oh, you can't get any better than that. A great throw from Brady. I believe it's two. Wow. Hi, it's this. Yikes. Getting embarrassing. Should have gone with the baseballs, apparently. <laughs> We're through three rounds and Brady's leading five nothing and Brian's having some regrets about choosing the tennis balls as they'll go long distance here. Brian going first as he has been since the very first round because Brady just will not stop winning as he leaves that one way short. Looks like Brian's trying to find a new strategy as he skips that one in, but it's not going to be close. It is interesting to see that Brian's been kind of mixing it up going underhand, overhand. Meanwhile, Brady just sticking totally overhand, trying to lob it in there with every throw. And he's had more success so far, so maybe that's the way to go as this one gets reasonably close, but still not as close as they could be. Brian improves on it, right up next to the ball. Oh, that's a phenomenal toss from Brian, and Brady had no chance of beating it. That's pretty good. The understatement of the year award goes to Brady, and Brian still has a chance down by four into the final round. I feel like there's some strategy that goes into getting all four. Okay. Sure. Well, you heard him. Brian needs all four possible points here, so he's going to get aggressive and go the length of the yard all the way to the far corner, hoping for something miraculous as Brady throws his in, and it's not very close, so Brian should be able to get inside of that one. We'll see if he can do it as he lines it up. This one needs to be closer for him to stay alive, and it comes up woefully short. Oh, that's a tough way to go out. Brian will not be winning this one, so the rest of this is just pretty much playing for Brian. Their second tosses aren't particularly close as well, so I guess this final location has been the most difficult of all of them, although Brady gets that one very close within a foot. A lovely throw from him. Brian just trying to salvage something at this point, but he leaves that one way to the right. Brady's final toss of the game, and it goes a little bit short. And then Brian's last toss, trying to get inside of Brady's. It does not. Brady wins this round, wins the game, and all of a sudden, the COVID Cup is tied 11-11. Well, 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 Brian, it's a brand new series. I have tied things up 11-11. What are you gonna have to do to turn things around here? I don't know, I think I unknowingly took a massive disadvantage with the tennis balls there. Starts again tomorrow, I'll go on another streak and get my cushion back. I'm not worried, we'll be fine. He keeps saying this, I don't know if I believe it. I'm on quite a run here and I'm not planning on turning back. We'll see you for day 23 tomorrow. <laughs>